Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to download a specific release of the Dart SDK as a zip file. Generally, you should use a package manager, a Docker image, or something along these lines to download, update, and keep track of your Dart SDK releases. But sometimes for your specific workflow, or to test an old version, or just look at, refer to something for historical purposes, or just a one-off thing, downloading a specific um, SDK as a zip file can sometimes be the most appropriate course of action. Um, so first things first, we go to dart.dev, which is the Dart Programming Language's official website. On the top nav bar, you'll see a few options. The one we care about today is Git Dart. You can also find this link to from many other pages on this website. This first page tells us how to download Dart through um, a package manager appropriate for your operating system, as well as system requirements and various other important information you can refer to. There's also a link to the official Dart Docker image. What we care about though is this link, downloading the SDK as a zip file. You can also find that at the bottom of the page here. If we click this, we are brought to the Dart SDK archive, which has a few primary sections, the stable channel, the beta channel, and the dev channel, which all list specific downloads. Let's look at the stable channel as an example. Currently, we have version 2.15.1 in Windows selected. This is the most recent release, and Windows is my current operating system, so it will automatically select this based off your current operating system. Let's look at what results we get. We get a the versions listed in the left hand, left hand column, as well as um, a snippet of the commit hash, the operating system, as well as architecture. We can see that the releases curr currently supported are the Intel AMD x64 architecture and the Intel AMD 32-bit um, architecture. On the right, far right, is our downloads column, which is our the most important column. If we click Dart SDK, this will download the zip file. Um, corresponding to this release. So this would download the 64-bit Windows release. This this um, is the hash of this file, so you can refer to this to make sure that the file is as expected. Um, and it, we also have the API docs included, which will download the Dart docs generated for this release of the SDK. You can also find these at api.dart.dev. And that's it. that's it for the stable channel. You can also find um, the same releases in the beta and dev channels. Um, generally, you should use the stable channel, but there are cases where um, using the beta channel is useful. For example, checking your library or project against the next release of Dart. Um, and dev channel, if, for example, a fix has been released recently, but is not yet in the beta or stable channels that you need um, to run or use your application. If we need to look historically at older releases, we can use this version tab to um, select different versions all, all the way back to early 1.0 releases. For example, say we want to select the latest, the last release before null safety, we can go to 2.10.5 and we can download these specific versions. We can also look at different operating systems if you need to, um, such as macOS or Linux or all of them at once. If we want to look at macOS as an example, we can see that um, in 2.10.5, only the Intel uh, AMD 64-bit architecture was supported, but we can also look at the recent release and we can see now that the ARM64 Apple Silicon uh, a version of uh, Mac OS is supported, so you can download the SDK for that. Um, Windows also, I mean, Linux also has a few releases, the Intel and AMD 64-bit and 32-bit ones, as well as ARM v8 and ARM v7. So download what you need according to your specific machine. Uh, the, this applies for beta and dev channels as well. Beyond these sections, um, you can find how to build these URL schemes in case you need to kind of build some way to download this into some CI system or some script. Um, you can build these based off of what you're specifically looking for, such as the, the release, the version, the platform, and architecture. You can also download a version of um, the zip based off the head of the main channel of the SDK in case you truly need something built off of the most recent one of the, some of the most recent commits. But note, as this says, the main channel builds are unsigned and generally these are not re recommended at all even for testing because this can change quickly and often. So yeah, that's how you can download a specific release of the Dart SDK as a zip file. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments or on the unofficial Dart community discord and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.